Good morning, everybody. Unfortunately, this is a redo and it's not live because something happened to the video on live today. Um, we had a really great video and it disappeared. So we're going to have to record it all over again. Um, just to let you know, I'm not open on Thursday, which is July 4th. I will be open all day today, Wednesday, at normal business hours, and Friday and Saturday also in normal business hours. And we're having a sale, 10% off everything in the store and 20% off kits between today, Wednesday, and Saturday. The 20% off kits does not include row by row, but it does include all the other kits in the shop, and there's a lot of them. Um, sorry for not being able to have for having to postpone the video on Monday unfortunately I walked in here on Monday at 5 a.m. and it was 80 degrees and the AC wasn't working so it wasn't pleasant okay today's block is this one way up here on the corner and I've gone through and um, stitched some of it already just to cut down on time I'm using two different reds an orange yellow and a white and some pink and this is nothing that we haven't already done. You need a marking pen, a scissor, and just a ruler for drawing your lines. Very, very simple block, but we've only got, after this video, we only have three, three more plus the assembly, and we'll be done with it. And then I'm gonna take a couple of weeks to do the ruler work on the, on the quilt, and then we'll go on to do some more quilt alongs, and I'm gonna show you how to work with the ruler. Sorry again about having to do just the video with no live. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened, but Facebook just decided to delete the whole thing except for the last 11 seconds. <laughs> here is your layout. The white up here is for a half square triangle, which I've already stitched just to get ahead of the game. And all we're doing is the smaller block, right sides together, white and black, going to draw a line diagonally from one corner to the other and stitch one stitch width on the other side of the line. This block here is the same half square triangle. These two, which we're going to get to, you're using an actual bigger piece, bigger squares to start than the smaller one because when we draw the line going diagonally, we're going to stitch a quarter of an inch on both sides and get two half square triangles. And there are quite a few charts out there, if you look, um, that'll give you the size squares to start with for the amount of, for the finished size of the half square triangles that you want. I'm sorry, I'm just going to put this on vibrate so I don't get interrupted. Okay, so we're just going to iron this block the first half square triangle that we made. I do recommend, as always, using best press, especially with all of this small piecing. It's just gonna make the piecing much easier. It's gonna stop some of the stretch uh, that, you're, that you can get. And I'm just gonna cut the bulk. There's that one. Now we're going to do the two half square triangles on the bottom. And I'm using the larger squares of orange and red. And we're going to put them right sides together, draw the line, and then stitch one quarter inch from the line on both sides. And if you're using a quarter inch foot with a guide, all you have to do is put the guide on the line and you'll stitch a quarter of an inch. I'm not going to cut my threads and you can do this with chain piecing too. All I'm going to do is pull it out a little bit, turn it, and then stitch on the other side of the line. It does save a little bit of time and if you're doing a lot of half square triangles, um, chain piecing will help save threads too. Not only does it save time, but it does save thread a little bit. 
So there you go. As you can see, I have the loop here from the thread that I pulled out. I stitched on both sides of the line. And now you're gonna oops, use that line to cut down the center and we're gonna end up with two half square triangles. I hope everybody is going to have a wonderful 4th of July. Now, when we set these seams, we're gonna keep the red on top so that when we flip it, the seam is on the darker fabric, the red, not on the lighter fabric. And we try to do this as much as possible throughout this quilt so it doesn't show a, sat a shadow on the white fabric. there are our two half square triangles and they're gonna go here so there's the block we're gonna have three rows that we're just gonna sew them all together and when we do the seams all of these seams will be pressed this way the middle row all the seams will be pressed the opposite and the final row they'll all be pressed that way again that way when we nest the seams and align them they'll all line up perfect um, I'm just going to go ahead and sew this first row together and 